Here is the real VLOOKUP Excel assessment test question asked as part of consulting company one of the big four's interview process. You are presented with the data set in the real Excel file. And the question is, client is looking for a number of units sold in the set of data. Client only remembers that transaction ID contained the value 0330. Can you help client to find the value using the VLOOKUP formula? There are a couple complicating factors here. Number one, the data set in this Excel file is substantial. So if you try scrolling, it's data and data and data and data. So probably more than 1,000 rows, uh, that what it was presented to the interview candidate. Second complicating factor is the fact that it doesn't explain from which columns you should be selecting the data. It doesn't give you any of this. So you should have a good understanding of the data itself. So you need to be able to analyze the data and find out which column contains what type of data based on the question itself. Another complicating factor is that in transaction ID, the question only asks the client remember seeing the value 0330. You can't use the exact match. You can't use the approximate match for VLOOKUP. So what are your options? What can you use in the VLOOKUP formula to find that value of transaction ID contained 0330? In this video, I'm going to introduce you to VLOOKUP formula. We'll look at some simple examples first, and then I'll show you how to answer this specific Excel interview question. I will also share with you how you can download this file so you can practice this yourself and get prepared for Excel assessment test. Can I ask you to do me a favor? There are a lot of people that look for jobs that require skills described in this tutorial. Some of them even might be your friends. If you know somebody who would benefit from this tutorial and could potentially get hired by learning the skills, could you please share it with this person or group of people? Thank you very much. I really appreciate it as I'm trying to help as many people as I can. Now let's continue and have more fun. VLOOKUP function helps you find items in a table or range by row. It has four parameters. Let's look at those parameters in more details. Three of those parameters are mandatory and the fourth one is optional. So VLOOKUP accepts lookup value, which is the value of what you're looking for. As a second parameter, VLOOKUP accepts Excel range, basically understanding where the value you're looking for is located. The third parameter is the column number or index number in the range containing the return value. And the fourth parameter, I already mentioned, which was optional, can accept two values, true for approximate match and false for exact match. Most of the time you use exact match, false value that you're supplying. But sometimes you need an approximate match. And we will look at the example of where exactly you will be looking approximate match. If you would like to download this quick reference card, as well as other examples in this file, please make sure to check out the description in this video. Let's look at our first example. In this example, let's start with the data. We have a wardrobe which has shirts and pants. Each shirt has a unique ID and then each pant has a unique ID. And for example, there is a color matching theme. So for green, we have shirt ID number 10 and pants matching pants would be number 33. Same for blue, yellow, red, and cyan. Now, the problem is that we need to find matching clothes, right? Which is very typical when you're trying to get uh, to a certain event. Not everything matches with other clothes that you have. So you use this cross-reference uh, table for matching shirts and pants for your wardrobe. Now, how would you find pants ID based on the matching color of the shirt? And the matching color we will store here in the cell F7, right? So the color that we are looking for and the match we are looking for is green. So how would we find that? The formula VLOOKUP that we will be using is located right here in the cell B15. And this is how we do it. We use VLOOKUP and then we say get the value we are looking for from the F7, which is green, then look in the range B8 through B12, which is this range. Return the value from the index 3, which is shirt color is index 1, shirt number 
is 2 and pen's number is 3. So that's the value we will be returning. And then use an exact match, which is value false. And the returned value will be 33. So for green, matching pens would be 33. One thing I was going to mention is that if you'd like more detailed tutorials in the form of ebook, please make sure to check out Online Training for Everyone's ebook store, which is located at uh, howtoanalyzedata.net slash ebook dash store. Now let's go back to our original question. So how can you help client to find number of items sold for this transaction ID using VLOOKUP formula? And transaction ID, client only remembers that there was a value 0330. First, let's start by analyzing the data. So we have a transaction ID field reference. That would be our VLOOKUP column where we will be looking up for that uh, value in the field. And I'll explain the concept of uh, wildcards that we'll be using uh, in the VLOOKUP formula. But now let's find the column that represents items that have been sold in this set of data. This is column H units sold. So client is looking for units sold based on the transaction ID. So our VLOOKUP uh, value, lookup value would be transaction ID, but item that we'll be looking for would be H, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, so would be index 8 in this VLOOKUP formula. Now, as we've identified the data columns that will be very useful for us uh, to use in VLOOKUP formula, let's look at a couple other concepts that would be extremely instrumental here. Let me share with you one tip to make you more productive with this tool. Number one is how would you get to the end of the data? And for that, I would recommend using keyboard shortcut, control arrow down. And control arrow down in this example brings us to the uh, row 706. But in some of the uh, other examples that I saw uh, from consulting companies, the number of rows is actually close to 100,000. So if you just expect to scroll and find the end of it, you will end up using most of your time, if not all of your time, uh, to answer this particular question. Expect that you'll be able to select it like this because some people just identify the range for VLOOKUP by selecting uh, the values. That would be extremely impractical. Now let's look at the concept of wildcard in the VLOOKUP formula. Typically, when you need to VLOOKUP something or look up something, you provide an exact value, first column uh, of the VLOOKUP formula that's referenced uh, in the range. Now, this is an example of this, uh, where we have the first ID that's in the cell uh, A6, and it finds the value of 1321. Let's validate that. This is an example when we looked up the value in uh, A6 and found number of units sold in H6. But the problem is that we only know the transaction ID contained 0330 somewhere in the transaction ID value. That's what client remembers. So we can't use exact match in VLOOKUP. We can't use approximate match because this is not sortable data. This is not something that approximate match will be able to help us find. This is just the GUID, uh, which is a hexadecimal value of the unique ID. Now, how would you do it? We'll use what's called wildcard. And wildcard really allows us uh, to find values using the star, which represents any characters and any number of characters, then provide the value that we know 0330 and then another star and that should help us find the value 3165 so if we search for units sold 3165 we find that the transaction id value contains 0330 and that's in the row of 120. what are the other types of questions you would like me to cover in my future tutorials could you please post them in the comment section of this video Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now let's continue and have more fun. So let's recap. We are searching for the value in the column A and we're using wildcard value. We only remember that transaction ID contains 0330. So we start with the star and star represents any character and any number of characters. So it could start with 0330 uh, and it could also be somewhere in the middle of the string. Uh, and we also put star in the end because we don't know exactly where in transaction ID this value exists. We're looking in the range A6 through H07 
I'm sorry, H706. And uh, remember, sometimes consulting companies uh, provide you with the huge number of data. So it's very important to know the end of your range, at least the last row, so you can identify the columns from the top. But then uh, manually type this value H706 exactly in the formula. And then we're looking for index number eight, which is column H. And then, and then um, we're looking for exact match, which represented by the value fall. Sometimes I see variation of this question where we're being asked to do a VLOOKUP uh, and use a wildcard based on the value in the specific cell. So variation of this question might sound like this. Client only remembers the transaction ID contained the value from cell F3, which is 0330, exactly the same value, somewhere in transaction ID. So how can we do it? The concept is the same. So let's copy the formula first, uh, and we will look up why it's not working here in a second. And, and it's not working because we shifted the range uh, because of the relative reference. So we'll change it back to A6 to A706. Let's validate to make sure it's working. So I restored the values, but now we need to reference uh, the value in the cell F, uh, F3 and include it into our wildcard uh, lookup. So the way to do it um, is that we are going to type here wildcard and concatenate it with the value of the cell F3. And then we are going to concatenate it again with another wildcard. So let's validate wildcard, uh, ampersand, F3, another ampersand and wildcard. Let's see if it works. And it does work. So that's how you include the value from specific cell into your wildcard VLOOKUP formula. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.